Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Spandit at Creative Tidings and today I'd like to show you how to make this cute little card. The supplies you are going to need will be the stamp set, Love You Lots, it's a hostess set. You will need a half sheet of wild wasabi, so five and a half by eight and a half. And I scored it at the four and a quarter mark. You'll need the basic black archival ink. And I did use the wild wasabi ink to um, color in the frog on the envelope. Okay. You accessory wise, you will need a piece of black baker's twine. This is 22 inches. You'll need a chalk marker, a Project Life pen or just a black um, marker from the, the Stampin' Up! markers, and then a blender pen to color in the frog on the envelope. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's fold the Wild Wasabi base in half at the score line. Okay. Open the black ink pad ink up the frog and just stamp him on the front of the wild wasabi and now I'm going to also stamp him on the envelope since I have the ink open and then next the U so we know exactly what little froggy's thinking <laughs> All right, let's close that. And now I just grab the uh, chalk marker. Now um, you get two in a pack, and we're just going to color in the little bubble that he's thinking of you. Now when you first get your pen, you'll probably need to get the ink flowing, so all you do is you press down on the tip. Okay, so now that you have colored in um, everywhere that you want and got the, um, the right amount of white that you would like on your card, go ahead and, and uh, grab the, the Project Life pen, and you do get two of these as well in a pack. Kind of uh, let that dry. One of the things I did want to uh, mention with the Stampin' Up! with the Stampin' Chalk marker is that you don't want to push too hard um, because it will break up the fibers of the cardstock. So just kind of dab at it. Alright. And just trace wherever it is that you would like the black line to be darker. And I definitely on his eyes. Now one thing to keep in mind that once you do this if you are to go back with the white chalk marker it will smear with the um, the black this pen will smear so just be super careful to get it where you want it. Okay, That looks good. All right, so let's grab the 22 inch piece of Black Baker's Twine. I wanted it nice and long for this card just because it's so simple that the frog is the, is the, um, the focal point, that's what I'm trying to think of, of the card. So let's scooch hit this over. You can see my my tails are bent. So you just fix that by using your fingernail, your fingers, and just straightening it out like that. Okay. It's not quite where I want that one. Looks like I'm gonna need to. <laughs> so just play with it. Get the bow the way you like it. I know many um, of my customers don't care for the projects when I have a bow, but I think it really looks cute. Alright, so there you go. 
There is the card. And now let me show you how to color in the frog using the wild wasabi ink. So what you'll do is you'll um, open up your pad a little bit. You'll gently press the pad onto the lid to create a little palette for um, of ink for you to use. So this is basically just like a water pen, um, but just not a, a lot of water. So you'll take the tip and you'll just color, pull in some um, ink and just start coloring in your frog. And to, then to clear, to clean off the pen, you'll just grab a piece of paper and you'll just do this until the ink is gone. And then you can reuse it for your next project. So there you go. A super cute and simple card. Easy to make and put together. If you don't want to do this on the envelope, just grab a piece of uh, Whisper White cardstock, stamp them on white and layer it on the front to get uh, a nice contrast there just with a little layering. So another option for um, just a quick, easy card. Be sure to visit my website at www.creativetidings.com to start sharing your own creative tidings wherever you go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know.